Okay, imagine hitting rewind. Not on your TV, but on like reality itself. Mm -hmm. Seeing wave, light waves, sound waves, any kind of wave actually reverse their trip through time. I mean, that sounds like total sci-fi, right? It absolutely does. Pure science fiction territory. But, and this is the really wild part, researchers uh, over at the CUNY Advanced Science Research Center, they've just confirmed it. I confirmed it. Yeah. This thing they call time reflection, it's actually real. Wow. So it's not just theory anymore. Okay. This is our deep dive for today, and we're basing this on some fascinating new reporting from Sustainability Times. Right. Our mission, unpack this completely mind-bending idea, figure out how scientists finally prove it was real after decades, and look at what this could actually you know, do. And maybe it helps to start with what it's not. We all know spatial reflection, right? Like a mirror or an echo. Exactly. A wave hits something, bounces off, changes direction in space. But crucially, it keeps moving forward in time. That's spatial reflection. Simple enough. Got it. Changes direction, not its time flow, but yeah. time reflection. That flips the script on time itself. That's the core idea. The wave's progression through time reverses. Mm. So yeah, let's dive deep into this because it's a world where time and waves collide in a way we just didn't think we could actually see until now. Okay, so what is time reflection fundamentally, not bouncing back in space? No, it's about the wave literally uh, reversing its own timeline. Its forward journey through time gets flipped. The report used a pretty good analogy, I thought like hitting rewind on an old video cassette. Perfect analogy. Or listening to a tape rewind, that whirring backwards sound. Right, you see the action reverse, here the sounds get weird and play backwards. Exactly. Everything unfolds in reverse temporally. And this reversal does something really specific and uh, kind of strange to the wave itself, especially its frequency. Yeah, the examples were striking. Red light supposedly turning blue. A low sound becoming high pitched. That's it. Sounds get inverted, sped up, just like that rewinding tape. That's the signature. This rapid, uniform change flips the wave's characteristics, its frequency, its direction in time. And this was just theory for so long. Oh, yeah. People were writing about this possibility back in the 70s. Yeah. But actually seeing it, that was the challenge. It just hadn't been directly observed in an experiment until this CUNY breakthrough. The 1970s. Okay, so 50 years, give or take. Oh. Why was it so hard to nail down in the lab? What was the big roadblock? Well, think about it. You need to mess with the material's properties. Not just slightly, but uh, really significantly, very, very quickly and uniformly across the whole thing. Okay. And you have to do this precisely as a wave is passing through it. Waves, especially light waves, are incredibly fast. So you need a material change that's even faster, perfectly synchronized. It demanded incredible precision, lots of energy, basically a huge technical hurdle. Right, catching a speeding bullet with an even faster trick. Yeah. But the CUNY ASRC team, they cracked it. They built some kind of time mirror. Sort of, yeah. Their setup was really clever. They started with a metal strip. Pretty simple. Okay. But they kitted it out with these special, highly responsive electronic switches. Think really, really fast on-off buttons. Uh -huh. And these switches were hooked up to capacitors. You know, those things that can store electrical energy and then dump it almost instantly. Right, like in a camera flash. Quick burst of energy. Exactly that principle. And here's the key part. They synchronized all those switches across the entire strip to trigger at the exact same moment. And what did that trigger do? It instantaneously doubled the strip's electrical impedance. Impedance. That's like electrical yeah. resistance, right? Yeah. How much the material fights against the wave. Essentially, yes. Think of it as um, electrical friction for the wave traveling along the strip by doubling it instantly and everywhere on the strip at once. They created a sudden roadblock. More like a sudden change in the rules of the road, but happening in time, not space. Just like hitting a wall makes a wave reflect spatially, this sudden uniform impedance jump acts like a boundary in time. A temporal boundary. Oh. Okay. So the wave hits this time boundary and... It reflects, but temporally. Its progression reverses. So when they measured the signal coming out after that impedance jump... They saw the rewind. They saw an inverted signal, a temporally reversed copy of the original wave they send in. The frequency was flipped, the time reversed. That measurement, that specific sig signature, that was it. The first solid experimental proof after 50 years. Wow. Just, well, confirming a theory that old is math or for physics. But, okay, stepping outside the lab. Yeah. 
what does this mean for us, for technology? Can we actually use rewinding ways? Oh, the potential is huge. This isn't just a curiosity. The report suggests this could lead to some really significant leaps in technology. Like in communications, you mentioned faster signals. Faster, yes, and more efficient, but get this. The report specifically mentions the possibility of creating wireless communication that's nearly impossible to intercept. Whoa, ultra-secure comms just by flipping the time direction. How does that even work? Yeah. And nearly impossible. Hmm, what's the catch? Well, the idea is that traditional ways of eavesdropping rely on intercepting a forward-moving wave. A time-reversed signal just wouldn't register or be decipherable in the same way. As for nearly, yeah, that's careful scientific language. It implies extreme difficulty, maybe not absolute impossibility under some theoretical, super advanced future scenario, but practically speaking, it suggests a massive leap in security. Okay, that's incredible. What about radar? The term used was unmatched precision and range. Imagine radar that sees much farther, much clearer than anything we has now. Manipulating the time aspect of the signal could potentially filter out noise or enhance the return signal in revolutionary ways. Better detection, less interference. Yeah. Makes sense. And imaging, too. Advanced imaging, yes. And it all ties into this really exciting field, metamaterials. Yeah. Metamaterials, those engineered structures that mess with waves in weird ways, right? Exactly. Stuff nature doesn't make. They're designed to control light, sound, other waves. Think uh, Things like experimental invisibility cloaks or super sensitive sensors. So time reflection gives metamaterials a whole new trick. Precisely. Now, you can engineer materials that don't just bend waves in space, but potentially control their journey through time, too. The report hints this could push those futuristic ideas, like those cloaks or sensors, closer to reality. Okay, so we've gone from basic physics confirmation to secure comms, better radar, maybe even invisibility tech. That's a lot. How does this change the big picture, like our basic understanding of physics? I think what's really profound is how it highlights the symmetry between space and time. We get spatial reflection, mirrors, echoes, it's intuitive. Seeing temporal reflection confirmed experimentally, it sort of completes the picture. It shows time and space might be more alike in how waves interact with them than we previously could demonstrate. A deeper symmetry, does it ripple outwards? Does it affect how we think about other areas like, say, thermodynamics or quantum mechanics? The report does suggest potential links. It's early days, but understanding how to induce and control this time reversal might give researchers new tools or perspectives in those fields, too. It opens up new questions, new avenues to explore. So looking forward, this isn't just a single experiment published in a journal. It feels like a starting pistol for a potentially transformative tech driven by these metamaterials and this newfound control over time. I think that's a great way to put it. Healthcare, defense, telecommunications, these are sectors mentioned that could see real change down the line. It marks a shift, you know, from a 50-year-old theoretical idea to something observed, something we can potentially harness. From what if to how can we use this? Yeah. It really makes you wonder what other seemingly impossible things are lurking in the laws of physics, just waiting for us to figure out how to see them especially through this new lens of time reflection. Absolutely. It's a reminder that there's still so much fundamental stuff to discover. Okay, wow. Let's try and crystallize that. So quick recap of this deep dive. Scientists, C-U-N-Y, A-S-R-C, they've done it. They experimentally confirmed time reflections are real. Right. Using that clever technique with a metal strip and instantly doubling its impedance, it validated a theory that's been around for half a century. And this isn't just abstract. It involves creating sort of temporal boundary, making waves rewind their own timeline, flipping their frequencies. And the potential applications are pretty staggering. Ultra-secure wireless signals, much better radar and imaging, and pushing the boundaries of what metamaterials can do, maybe even those sci-fi concepts like cloaking. It really does challenge how we think about time and waves, mm. showing this deeper symmetry and hinting at tech that could reshape, well, a lot of things. That's the core of it a fundamental discovery with potentially revolutionary consequences. Thinking about waves actually reversing their flow through time, it's still hard to wrap your head around. What does this really mean for physics for the future? That's the big question, isn't it? It is. And it's exciting because the exploration is just beginning. We've confirmed it exists. Now the work starts on figuring out everything it enables. And that's what we love digging into here on The Deep Dive exploring these frontiers right alongside you. So definitely stay tuned. We'll keep bringing you the most interesting research we find. And hey, if you found this interesting, if you enjoyed this exploration, please do give us a like, subscribe wherever you're listening. It really helps. And drop us a comment. 
we genuinely want to know what you think. Yeah. What are your thoughts on time reflection? Any wild ideas about what it could lead to? Or, you know, the Sustainability Times article comments mentioned affiliate marketing possibilities around advanced materials, any insights there, or just tell us what other scientific frontiers you want us to tackle in future deep dives. Your suggestions really guide us. They absolutely do. We love hearing from you. Definitely. Until next time, keep thinking, keep questioning, and keep being amazed by the universe. We'll be back soon with another deep dive.